Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go over conditionals and show you a quick example to help get you started using conditionals. And conditionals are just if-then statements. So if something happens, if an event is true, then do X, Y, and Z. So for this video, I'm using the uh, to-do list template here in Xano. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a sort of reminder option anytime I add a new task or to-do item. And if that reminder option is true, then I'm going to send myself an email notification using SendGrid. So if you haven't watched uh, the video on how to configure the SendGrid extension, I recommend you also watch that so you don't think I'm just doing some magic. But I'm going to go into my API page and into my to-do API group. And here are those CRUD API endpoints uh, for my to-do list template. So if I go into uh, post for to-do, and if I go into my function stack, I'll show you through data manipulation what conditionals look like, what this if-then statement is. So when this opens up, you can say, here's the if, so what would you like to evaluate? And then there's a then, what would you like to do if the above is true? And finally, an else, which is optional. So otherwise, saying that if this isn't true, then perform something else. So I'm going to close out of this, and I'm going to add to my inputs a Boolean that's going to say send reminder, and I'll save that. So here's going to be that option in this endpoint if I want to actually send a reminder. This is what we're going to look at, uh, whether that is true or not, to then go ahead and push me an email reminder. Okay, now let's go back into my function stack and into this conditional. And right here, I can edit the if statement. So this window pops up and it asks where. So we're going to say where send reminder equals and I'll click on this drop down menu and I'm going to want to go to constant and I'm going to say if send reminder is true and I'll go ahead and hit update and then I'll click plus right here under then and because I'm sending an email through SendGrid I'm going to go to custom functions and I'm going to use this SendGrid basic send in order to push out an email notification for myself and this is just created once you configure the SendGrid extension and one thing I want to do since I'm using this uh, third-party extension function I want to click into here and make sure my inputs are mapped so my to email I'm just going to send this to myself and the subject I'll just go ahead and say the subject will be reminder and for the body, let's say I want the body to be um, the input of whatever the actual task that's being added to our database is. Okay, so my to email is set up, my subject is reminder, and the text is going to be the actual test or task itself. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And I can go ahead and run this to test it. So the task, let's say, is make more... Xano videos completed will be false because it's not completed yet. I'll say this is important is true and I'll say send a reminder true. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and when we run that we see success uh, everything ran successfully. Uh, we see this task was added to uh, my database table but how about that email was that actually pushed out so I've got my email open here just in my unread. So when I go ahead and click refresh, we'll see here's that email uh, from myself that has reminder as the subject and make more videos as the body. So that's it for conditionals. Um, just a really quick example. Uh, one thing I do want to note is you can just keep adding on to uh, this then statement here um, and make it its own function stack of itself. Likewise with the else statement. So you can get really creative and do some pretty cool uh, involved stuff with conditionals. So with that, I'll see you in the next video.